one I'm waiting for. I have a slide presentation. Thank you so much for coming on the front row. Appreciate that. Um, this is a, a, a slide with uh, Nathan Green, and what a wonderful thought that the physicians are praying. Huh? Well, our, our story time today is about visiting the sick. And our memory verse, which we're all going to say, is from Matthew 25, verse 36. I was 36. I was sick and you visited me. Can we all say that? I was sick and you visited me. It's part of another verse. That And who do you think? Who have, if, if you could visit somebody, if you could visit Jesus, would you? what, what would you bring him? If, if he needed a visit, Bring you. Can you think of some? Anybody? I, I might bring you some food. Mango. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was sick and you visited me. Well, here's part of the story. Um, actually, my great grandfather, my dad's grandfather, was a horse and buggy doctor. He graduated from the Louisville School of Medicine in some years before the 1900s because my grandmother was born in. 19 So this is not a picture of him. It's just a picture of a man in a horse and buggy. And that's the way they used to go to their doctor's visits. And um, that's that's like really old, old dude there, right? I mean, that was the way they went. I don't know what's going on with this, but I don't know. I'll just talk loud. Um, the, the other thing that happened was um, when the doctor would come to visit, he would, he would actually see the people at their house. Now, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if there's somebody sitting on this front row or in another row that is actually going to go in the medical field sometime. There are people that are, God is calling all the time. And the doctor would come, and you can see he's checking out the little boy's heart, making sure everything's okay. And this is what they used to bring, because when I was a kid, guess what? The doctor actually came to my house one time. I didn't like him too much because I think he gave me a shock. I'm too thrilled with that. But they would bring their doctor bag and they had their stethoscope and everything in it. And the doctor would come and visit. They're the more modern doctor bag. And he would come knock on the door because the mommy had called him or the daddy had called him and said, I have a sick person in my house. So here's our memory verse again. Let's say it again. I was sick and you visited me. Well, sometimes the little person would be right in bed and have to have a visit. So even the doctor would come and visit. That was very nice. Who was the biggest nurse in the house, do you think, when somebody gets sick? Who takes care of you? Mom was the nurse in the house, right? No? Is it Dad? Oh, it's Dad. Sometimes it's Dad. Sometimes it's Dad. And here's a lady that is a physician, and she has an Apple computer, I noticed. And she doesn't have a, a, a doctor bag the same. I mean, she does, but she's using her computer. What do you think she uses her computer for? Well, perhaps she uses it to input data about the patient. I think you're right. Input data. And she might even use it for research right then and there. But who knows what medication is prescribed. And here's somebody else. Somebody getting care at home. Isn't that precious? And what's our memory verse? Let's say it. Matthew, everybody, Matthew. Matthew 25, 36. I was sick and you visited me. Oh, poor little thing. She's sick and she needs a visit. He needs a visit. Looks like he's actually in the hospital, doesn't it? Do you think he's in the hospital? Yeah, I think so too. Some people came to visit this kid. Wow, that's pretty nice. In his, can kids go to visit people in the hospital? Yeah. Sometimes, if you're sick, should you go to the hospital and visit somebody? No, then you stay home and wait for somebody to come visit you, right? Yeah, that's probably better. But look how happy that little girl's making that person in the hospital. And there's a whole family going to visit somebody in the hospital. Oh, this is a person that may never leave the hospital. Sometimes that happens. But they need visits. And look at on the um look at on the bed. Uh oh, I think those are cookies. Can you bring people things in the hospital? Can you bring people things if they're sick at home? Yes, you can. 
And does it make you feel better? Have you ever been lonely when you were sick and you just wished there was something to do? When we were kids, if there was a, some diseases that we would get and we weren't allowed to watch television, it would affect our eyes. I forget whether it was measles, mumps. My brother actually got encephalitis from a mumps, and he had to stay home. He had to stay home for two months. Missed the most of second grade. Then he had to do it over again. Not very fun. The teacher didn't like him for that. <laughs> actually. So there's fun things to do, isn't there? When you're, when you're sick, somebody can come and visit you, read you a book like that last one. And this picture by Nathan Green, what do you think you're seeing there? The doctor has a difficult case, and he's studying his books, and he has also asked Jesus to help him. And so, don't you know, Jesus is going to bring something to his mind, give him a word of wisdom or a word of knowledge. And the Holy Spirit will point him to the right page. God does that all the time. That's something we can pray for when somebody's sick. God the doctors. Matthew 25, 36, everybody. I was sick and you visited me. Here's the story of the mango. I was sick once and somebody brought me a mango. But that's a story for another day. Here's our memory verse. Everyone, let's say where it's found. Matthew 25, 36. I was sick and you visited me. And one day when Jesus comes back, will there be any more sick people? No. What's he going to do? Give us brand new bodies. Now here's something interesting. If I, if I was sick and you came to visit me, we just been reading that memory verse. It says, I was sick and you visited me. Who said that in the Bible? Who was the I? Jesus. So here's the funny part. If you know somebody who's sick and you go to visit them, Jesus says, it's just like you want to visit Jesus. I would love to visit Jesus. And he said, if there's somebody sick and I go visit them, I'm, it's just like I'm visiting Jesus. I think it's a great idea. So next time you go visit somebody, remember, it's just like you were visiting Jesus. What would you do for Jesus? That's what you think, and that's what you do for somebody who's sick. But one day, when Jesus comes back in the clouds, all the people that died and all the people that are sick will be given brand new bodies. Amen? Amen. And we're looking forward to that day. That's the end of our children's story, our story time. And for those of you that one of these days, you might be visiting somebody who's sick, just remember, it's just like visiting Jesus. Shall we have a prayer? Is there anybody who would like to pray? Not this time. Father in heaven, as we praise you and thank you that you said that if, if if you were sick, we would come and visit you. It's just the same as if we visited you. Uh, and so please help us to do this to the least of our brethren. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.